Hey everybody, how you guys doing? It's me, Tony, again. Uh, I've been working on some really, really cool stuff um, the past couple of days. Been kind of slow for me. I haven't had any lures, so I had to kind of dig in and find some of my old lures that had chunks in them or, or for whatever reason, while I bit something here or off or bit something there off. Lures are getting kind of expensive these days, so like I said, I kind of went back and found some lures that I haven't really used um, or I didn't like the color and I've touched them up I've cut a stencil out and I want to show you what that looks like here I'm gonna cut the stencil out real quick paint up some of these lures and I'll get right back to you and show you what they look like so stand by alright everybody welcome it. back I cut the stencil out I got all that done and ready I painted up quite a few lures like I said some of them are the old lures that I used to have or I still have and they got chunks out of them or maybe some of the clear coat got chipped off from the walleye I'm going to show you a couple of these that I uh, that I did up. Here's my buddy Ronnie. Wave, Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, how you doing? And here's what we got. Let me get it all settled in, okay? Now, I got some of these. Like I said, these were my old ones, some of the older ones. Hey, Sam Adams, shout out. What I've done is I've taken some of those lures and come up with a lot better patterns. Then I started working on these right here. Now, what one of you guys asked about the green, the chartreuse green, and the or the lime green and the yellow? That would be that one right there. And then I worked this one out pretty nicely. Gives it a nice, different look. You see there, I kind of doubled up the color on that. A little bit of overlay. These are your shad wraps. I also use these for trolling walleye. Out. And then uh, this one was is a shad wrap. It was like a blue one, but I modified it, the color on it. Pink on the belly. And then uh, like a blue on the top. So I can paint all different kinds of good stuff. But those are mainly the lures that I use. And once I get the clear coat, none of these have clear coat on them. So once I do get the clear coat on these, the colors are really going to come out. And really definitely pop out of these lures. So that's kind of what I've been working on. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And don't forget, where there's a beautiful looking lure, there's also a very, very hungry fish. Peace.